This contains strong language, sexual scenes, and references from the outset and throughout. After 15 seasons of Jolly Show, obviously I have decided to leave. I cannot be on Jolly Show and be a dad at the same time. I've done Jolly Show, I've done everything I could possibly imagine doing on Jolly Show, and now I'm just ready for that next chapter in my life. And to be honest with you, I cannot wait. I know it sounds cliche, but I would say I honestly do believe I walked into Jolly Show a boy and I've walked out a man and I've learned so much about life in there. I was on the dole, I had nothing. I didn't have a clue what I was doing. I didn't have a clue what I'd signed up for. I made some friends that I'll never forget and I've made some good money. I've looked after my family. It's crazy to think I got all that from Jolly Show, but I will always be so grateful for that. Top three standout moments in Joy Show. Honestly, walking in for the first time, like I literally walked in there, got a Jaeger bomb. It was with Jay. Bringing Aaron into Joy Show, getting to walk him in as my mate was quite a big moment for me. And probably leaving on a high. I always panicked about leaving Joy Show. I didn't know maybe what I was going to do next, but now I kind of know and I know where I'm going, so leaving on a high. Highs and lows, it was one point in Hitman Cancun. None of the cast were talking to us. I had to get a taxi to the club separately to everyone else. I had my own little table with my own little drinks. Nobody was speaking to us. So that was definitely a low. Highs, just being part of it. When everyone's talking and everyone's in good spirits and everyone's on a night out, it is the best high in the world. Regrets, obviously everyone's got some kind of regrets. There's things on there I probably shouldn't have done. But you know what it is, I learn from them and it's made me who I am now. So. No, I don't regret anything. The worst job Anna's ever made me do, I mean, the long list. I had to go somewhere and pick chewing gum off the floor. The topless nights when we first started, man, it was just, it was so embarrassing. Like, I remember Aaron went to an office once and some woman started spanking him. She sent me to them flea-ridden barns. <laughs> the barns and the jobs when we first started. Anna, you're one person that I will never, ever miss. Thank you, you've been an amazing boss but I quit. One of the biggest things I learned from Jordan Short is probably his face-to-face -face confrontation. Oh shit, man. Shit, man. And talking to someone because now if I got my mates and I fall out with them, they'll watch up the next day and be like, sorry about last night, mate. Hand over face emoji. It's like, oh, forget about it. And when you see each other, you don't talk about it. It's just forgotten. In there, you've got to look at that person's face and say sorry or make up with them or explain your actions. Um. Right, for oh, me, guys, sis. I'm devastated you're leaving because the one person that understands what I've been through. It makes you a much better person because you can actually deal with things in person. One thing I will miss about Joyce was waking up in that boy's bedroom. It's like being on a two-month lads holiday. You look around, Scott's there, Aaron's there, Nathan's there. It's like, what the hell happened last night? I kissed Scott. What? Yeah. I don't even know what it was, it? And then you all talk about it. Fucking hell, last night, just <laughs> fucking was it, wasn't it? Waking up when the boy's not being there, I, I hate that. Mr. Least a mess. Honestly, like, I don't even think that kitchen is hygienic. It is, it's so bad. You've got to get milk and it's off, or you've got to get some bread and it's mouldy. It's just <laughs> minging. I haven't had a birthday since I was 22 in real life. It's always been in the Jory Show house, so I can't wait till this birthday and start and do what I want, where I want, invite who I want. This is my first birthday, not in the Jory Show house, so I can't wait. My future after the show, do you know what is? I'm just buzzing to be a dad. I think I've done Jolly Show for so long, it wasn't really a challenge anymore. My life just got repetitive, so becoming a dad is a whole different world for me, but do you know what it is? I can't wait for the challenge. A parting message, keep doing what you're doing, do what we've always done, smash them nights out, keep doing what we do best, and that is partying. Do not worry if you're new, everyone in there is sound. You might have some arguments, but get through the arguments because there's a lot more good times ahead. You dare let down the legacy that we started. I am handing over the button to use. I just want to say a massive thank you to everyone I've worked with on Jolly Show and the runners, the execs, sound men, some of them people that became like my best friends. Everyone that's worked on the show from the minute I started, thank you so much. thing I've ever done in my life. However will we call twat belly.
do one. Fuck off. I'm an emotional wreck. Change this house for the world. 